Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. It's kind of my first one. I have done a couple, but this is like my first one I'm like actually going to like pick up and do more of. Um, I'm just going to do a basic hermit crab care video because a lot of people don't actually know how to take care of hermit crabs. I myself, I've only had them for a week and they're doing great. Um, but I have done a lot of research on them because... They say that they can live up to 30 years, but most people, with when they don't have the right care, they only live, like, a couple weeks or something. Um, but their full potential life is 30 years. Um, I will show you my crabs in a second. I do have two tanks. I only use one of them right now. I'm going to connect the two, That if that can make any sense. But I am going to connect them. And... So, the first point is painted shells. Painted shells are toxic for hermit crabs, if you know what I mean. Like, the paint, if they, they can sometimes eat the paint. And sometimes, like, some pet stores, if you see pet stores that have hermit crabs that are in painted shells, don't get them from there because they are, they're abused. They're, like, forced out of their shells with, like, a cracking... They'll, like, crack their shells, um, and they'll force them into a painted one. Um, it's, re it's a really bad, so I don't really suggest getting hermit crabs if you're, like, if you're just a parent and say hermit crabs are easy to take care of. They're actually really not. They do take a lot of care. Um, so I would suggest if you are going to take really good care of them, then it's okay. But all hermit crabs are taken from the wild. They're not, they don't breed, they're not like a breed, they don't breed like in captivity. They have to be in the wild to like breed and all hermit crabs are taken from the wild. I did not know that until like a couple days after I got my hermit crabs. But I'm not going to get any more. Um, the second thing is, is that hermit crabs are social cra social animals that... So you do, if you are going to get hermit crabs and you are willing to take them out and have the store buy more from these terrible sellers, you do need to get at least two. You cannot have one by itself or the crab will be depressed and it will die soon. Um, third thing is water. They cannot have regular tap water. There's chemicals, there's chemicals in it and there is a, um, you can get stuff that's made suspicious. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's like made for them, or you can just get like what I have is Reptisafe. I'll show you in a second. Um, and then they have to have salt water. They do need salt water, so I suggest making the salt water dish a little bit bigger than the fresh water. And I'll show you my cage. I have lot stuff in there. Um, the third thing is, is humidity. They have to have humidity. They have gills, like right here, that they do breathe out of. And if there's no humidity, then they can't breathe out, can't breathe out of it. So they do have to have humidity. Um, fourth thing I would say, um, they have, they need to climb. They like to, hermit crabs like to climb. So, I don't have very much climbing stuff on my enclosure right now, but I did just recently go down to our local creek and get a couple sticks. And you cannot get sticks and just, like, put them in there right away without treating them. You do need to put them in the, like, oven for, at 200 for, like, 10 minutes, or, like, 5 minutes, just so that they kill, like, all the parasites and germs on it. Um, and then you can put it in there. I would suggest just going to buy some stuff, like if it's cheap. Um, my pet stores have, it's really expensive, so I'm trying to find my own stuff, and I don't have very much money. Um, but, um, what else is there? Okay, substrate. If you guys don't know what substrate is, what's on the bottom, and I'll show you that in a second in my cage over there. Um, but right now I have play sand, and play sand is actually better than calcium sand that they actually make for hermit crabs. The thing with calcium sand is that when, if you do have water dishes, you really do need to have those, a salt water and a fresh water, um, 
they they need they need, need to be moist and calcium sand if it gets in their shells it hardens and they can't get out of their shells so that's really bad for them so don't get calcium sand um, get regular play sand from like a Home Depot or something uh, make sure it is in the bag though so that there's no like and just to be safe you can bake it um, like just bake the sand in like a regular pot or like a um, cake dish or something like that um, I did not do that but I think my crabs are doing pretty good right now. Um, and then also to go out the substrate, if you're just going to do play sand, I would suggest getting Eco Earth, which you can find at your local pet store. Um, you can get like the clump or you can get the bag of it. I haven't been able to get to the pet store, so I don't have any Eco Earth in there right now. Um, also, for humidity, I suggest moss. I have sponges in there right now. But like I said, I haven't been able to get to the pet store, so I don't have moss right now. Um, moss keeps humidity very well. Um, uh, heat. They, their, their enclosures in the wild, there it's like 70 to 80 degrees at the beach. Um, they do need to have a cool spot and a hot spot. So, in my enclosure, I'll show you in a second. I do have a heat lamp on one of them, and the other one is just a regular heat pad. But the heat lamp is on one side, and then they have a cool side where the water dishes are, so that doesn't nothing evaporates very fast. Um, I'm not sure if my temperature works, my temperature reader and my humidity reader, so I do need to get a new one. Um, um, but humidity, they do like to climb. I think I already said that, but. Um, I, oh, and then they need hides. Hides are, like, little stuff that they can hide in where it's dark and they can feel safe during this day, the day because they are nocturnal creatures. You can take them out during the day and they will sometimes play with you. Um, I don't suggest doing it a lot. Maybe take it out for maybe five, five minutes, like, a day or, like, every other day just so that you can see them and play with them. Um... Molting crabs molt, and when they molt, they dig into the sand and they stay there for like three weeks, um, up, like up to a month. Um, so if your crab has dug into the sand and it's covered itself, don't go looking for it unless you can smell stench. If there's like a, all of a sudden stench and your hermit crab is gone, then that usually means that it is dead and it is going to sneak up your room until you go and look for it. But if you do have to, you need to gently, like with one finger, or what I do is I have a fork and I just, it's not really like a fork, it's like a serving fork. Here, I'll show you in a second. Um, but I will like gently go through it, and that's what I do at the start um, for my substrate. I pour, I try to get all the substrate wet, so I put a like half a bottle of salt water and half a bottle of fresh water and I'll get that done and um and I'll just use the fork and I'll go through and just mix it up to where it's not all on the top because what did happen today I did change their cage because they were in a smaller cage like I said the 10 gallon oh I didn't say that in this video sorry um but I have two tanks. I have a 10 gallon long and a 10 gallon tall. The 10 gallon tall on the bottom, like around, is like a 5 gallon. So it's not it's not ideal for a hermit crab. You do need to have a longer tank to where they do. They need to have at least 5. Like, they do. They need to have a lot of space. Like, you can't clutter their thing and be like, oh, they're going to be okay. You have to have room for them to climb to where they can play in the sand, to where they can dig. Oh, substrate also needs to be, depending on what size your hermit crabs are, mine are like this big, so I only need like this much sand. Um, I don't do it across the whole thing. I kind of elevate up, so I put my water bottles, at, I mean my water bowls at the bottom, so it's like on the actual like glass tank. Um, and then I build up with sand up into the top of like three inches maybe. It's not very much. Um... Oh, and then with hides, um, I have a, like, half log hide right now, but it's kind of small, and it's not going to be able to fit.
both of them for and not too long. But in one of them, I have a bigger one, which I need to get rid of because it's too big for the cage. And it's too big for the five-gallon tall. But you can get, like, plus. I have two plastic pots, for, which I'll show you in a second. And you can just cut a hole in them, a small hole, to where they can both fit in. And just set it in there. It doesn't have to be too big. It just needs to be able to where they can feel safe and be out of the, like, light. Um... Um, and I'm pretty sure I covered everything, and I'll just show you my cages and my two crabs. Oh, plants. Um, there are some succulents that you can put in your cages. I have a dead one, which they like to hang out and, like, just mess with, and they kind of tore it all up, but they do like to, like, hang out in the, um, dirt. Um, and then I have another succulent that is in my 10-gallon tall, um, but they're not in there right now. I have them in a the 10-gallon long. Um, but it, you can look up online, like, what what plants you can put in their cages. There's a very wide variety. I had two of them. I have a couple more, but I didn't want to put them in there because they were they are doing well, and I'll show you them in a second. Um, so this is my bamboo. Um... It's doing pretty well, like I said. Um, they're thriving. But you can put bamboo in there. Um, but the one thing about bamboo is that there's there's a couple kinds of different bamboo. There's something called lucky bamboo, which which is what I have. And it's, it's not real bamboo. It's like a chemical thing to where it can bend and look cool. You cannot put this with crabs. But if you get, like, actual, like, regular bamboo... And, like, grow it off for a little bit. And then, once it gets bigger, you can put it in your tank. And they'll chew at that. So, it's not something that they'll, like, that just is going to look pretty. It's going to look, it's not going to look too pretty because they will eat it and chew it up and tear it up. Um, but I'm going to show you my crabs. Okay, so I'll show you my tanks first. So, this one is my 10-gallon tall. Like I said, that hide is a little big for here. Um, I am going to have to get rid of that. But then here's my one plant, and it kind of died. It is still living, though. It's better than my other one. Um, but I do have, like, a little rock placement right there, and then a tree log that they can climb up. And this one is not lighted, but that's only because there is a... If you can see, there's a black rectangle in the back, and that is a heater pad. And I have that one. This I have it in this one because this one does have. It's made to hold humidity, which is what I have it for right now. And I'm gonna keep it like that. And it does have one hole, which I'm essentially gonna move over to here so that I can can connect the two tanks. And then this is my 10 gallon long. Like I said, water bowl, the big one is a salt water, and I put sponges in there because it's a little bigger. And then that one's a fresh water to where they can drink out of. That blue bowl is, um, it is, it's a food bowl. Um, I will show you my food a little bit later. Um, and then you have to have extra shells. I did not say that, but extra shells you do have to have. Um, and then they are in their little hide. I don't know if you can see them. I'll get them out a little, in a little bit um, at the end of my video. I'll just pick the log up and show you them. But like I said, I have regular play sand, and it is about three inches. It's just enough to where my hermit crabs can bury themselves. And this one does have a heater lamp. This one is my hot tank. I call it my hot tank because it doesn't hold humidity very well. As you can see, I'm pretty sure I said, but I think my... Thermometer and humidity, like, thermometer is broken, so I do need to get a new one. Um, but does not keep humidity very well. And like I said, moss is something that would work perfect. Um, and this one is made to he keep humidity. Um, I do not have, I'm, like, switching out the two from time to time. And this one holds humidity better than heat. Um, this one stays about 70 to 80, which is ideal. This one's about 80 to 90, which is a little more hot. So, like I said, they're in their hut right now, and they're gonna, they will probably be there for a while until I pick the thing up to where you can see them. 
Uh, my crabs' names are Caroline and Bridget. Um, I do. I have two different sizes. I have a bigger one and a smaller one. Um, but as you can see, as the little hide, it, they're not too big because they are both in there in the back. So that's it for right now, and I'll get back to you and I'll show you my food. Oh, not yet. Okay, so I do have a my dresser. I do have a drawer full of hermit crab, just like basic care needs. So like I said, fresh water, I would recommend Rep to Save. It is a pretty big bottle. It's only like $4 at PetSmart or Petco. Um, it is from ZooMed. It is very good. I've had this for a couple of my pets. Um, but I suggest that. Um, this is saltwater conditioner. It's from All Things Living. It's at, I got it at Petco, I think. And it's only about three, two to three dollars. And that is made specifically for hermit crabs. So I do recommend that. And I have been using that for a while. Um... I am eventually going to put a waterfall, so I do have like a regular fish pump in here right now. I have to get it fixed, though. It's kind of broken. Um, but this is what I use to clean your tank. Okay, so for cleaning your tank, I you can use soap. I, do, I use Dawn soap. Um, you can use bleach, but just make sure that once you're finished, you cannot smell the bleach at all. Um, that is a key point because if they can smell the bleach, then they can kill them. And I do not recommend using bleach. I would recommend Dawn. Um, but that's what I use. I don't know if you use anything different. But, um, and then I have a sponge right here, an extra sponge. And then I have a couple of seashells and an extra water, water bowls. So, that I have there. And then also... I do not think I mentioned this, but actually I just lost my train of thought. Um, I'll go and show you. Oh, um, this is what I have to keep my humidity in this one. It is not, like I said, does not keep humidity well, so I do spray it a lot. Um, I spray it maybe like uh, three times a day, and I just give it like a couple of squirts on both sides. And that just gives them a little humidity to be able to breathe. Um, so those are my two. And I'll get back to you and I'll show you my food.